Doctor, you've touched on sunscreen and its effect on hormones. Can you go into that a little bit more and, and the relationship with how sunscreens actually alter or affect our hormones? Right. When we absorb them, uh, they act as an estrogen or they act as an anti-testosterone. So our normal hormone balance is being very disrupted, uh, and that's why the fetal development is so impacted because it's very critical to have a normal balance. Very critical for male fetus to be bathed in testosterone while it's developing. And if it's not, then there's a great disruption. And in the animals, they're finding out that the ability to have normal male sexual behavior as an adult is negated because the brain has to do what's called uh, dimorphic, sexually dimorphic differentiation in order to go into the, the testosterone dominant part of the brain and, and then depress the estrogen influence on the brain. So uh, without that, with they're being bathed in estrogen while they're developing, uh, they are virtually incapable of having normal adult sexual behavior. You know, I think a lot of people think of sunscreen as sitting on top of your skin and being right. a barrier, but your skin is really uh, a, a mechanism to transport things in and out of your body, isn't it? Very so it's absorbable, and it's the largest organ in your body. Mm -hmm. So you're putting all this on the largest organ. The uh, sunscreen is detected in the blood in five minutes, and within hours it's detected in the liver, kidney, spleen, testicles, mm -hmm. and the brain. So we absorb it, and it's going into all our organs. Something that people need to be aware of, not only with sunscreen, but lotions, um, makeup. There's a lot of things that maybe people need to relook at how, how they use and what they use. We need to read the label of everything, virtually everything. They are putting these sunscreens in everything. It is just staggering. They put them in shampoos, the body lotions, all the makeup. Uh, I had even been using a very natural makeup line for years and was just horrified when I realized they were using titanium dioxide in their in their foundation. And the thing about the titanium dioxide is yes it screens out the UVB but it only screens out a portion of the UVA. It doesn't screen out the whole UVA. And then also when the sun hits it it's actually deactivated. It actually it photodegrades they call it. Mm -hmm. So it's no longer of any value. So the, and they're putting it in lipsticks and in, the, mm -hmm. in our makeup and it's actually not creating the protection it's been said it would and it's very toxic because we're absorbing it. Mm -hmm. um, in my book I have photo micrographs of the, uh, the, t the particles actually being inside the cell nucleus and actually causing the skin cell death. When you put it on the skin it actually causes the human epidermal cells to die. And there's a whole schematic in the book about the path to the death. Hmm. So, and, and it's truly amazing. They're even putting it in foods. So you've got to read the labels of the foods because they put it in there to protect the color. Hmm, really? So, and even putting from health food stores. If you don't read the label, hmm. you're going to be ingesting titanium dioxide. 